Hello, welcome all the safety professionals, all the persons who wants to learn something about the rig. And today our topic is the rig flow. The rig flow is a very important part of any drilling rig. And for your information, the rig flow is also called the drill flow. So today our learning outcomes will be the following. The first will be the rig flow definition and layout. What is exactly the rig floor is? Equipments on rig floor. The third one is rig floor equipments images. We will see some images of all uh, or most of the equipments on which are located on a rig floor. The last one is the rig floor inspection, observations and safety safety points. All the persons or the safety officers and safety professionals who works in the rig, they have to check out some points, they have to identify some existing hazards and what the observations they are making on their daily job uh, visits and what the safety points and safety advisors they have to recommend to the workforce. So let's start. Our first topic is what is rig flow? The rig flow definition. What is the definition? We will try to understand here and explain here the very short and brief and easy understandable definition so that we can have some basic information and we can learn the, the subject in very um, completely. So the rig floor is also called the drill floor. The drill floor is located directly under the derrick. Rig floor is the heart of any drilling rig. So as I said earlier, the rig floor is the heart of any drilling rig. This is area where the drill stream begins its trip into the earth or seabed. So this is a place where all the tools and pipes are assembled, all the joints are met, and where the spot is started, where the drilling is started. So this is a very important and this, this is the main work area of any kind of rig, whether that is offshore or onshore. Is that rig is in offshore or water or is that rig is on the land? It is traditionally where joints of pipe assembled as well as the BHA. BHA stands for bottom hole assembly, drilling bit and various other tools. This, the primary work location for the roughneck. The roughneck is also called the floor man and the trailer. On land, the rig floor is generally 15 to 20 feet above the ground level. The rig substructure is constructed of steel beams in a large frame. And this is an image of a rig floor. We can have some idea uh, what are the equipments located here. So the this entire area this entire area is called the rig floor and this is a, a kind of room we are seeing here it is the drillers console this is a small room where dr driller sits and operates all the gauges and all the instruments he is responsible for the big one this one is I should use another color this one is called the draw box. Draw box is also a very important part of a drilling rig. This is the hoisting equipment um, of uh, the drilling rig. And this is the round one. The red one is the rotary table. This is the rotary table. This part we will have looking. This is called the winch. And there is a small room in a side in all the rig floors. This is called the dog house. And we have to take care that all the floor have all the four sides. There are the handrails located. And this is area opening here, which is now closed, is called the V door. The V door is used to uh, bringing up or lowering down all kinds of pipes and tools and casings from the catwalk to the rig floor and for uh, from the, the rig floor to the catwalk. And we have to ensure that in our rig, 
there should be at least two uh, staircases for entry and exit. And this is called the winch. So we have some a rough idea about uh, the equipments on the rig floor. So we will see the next slide. So equipments on the rig floor, what the equipments are located in the rig floor? Driller's cabin, driller's cabin is also called the driller's console, dog house, rotary table, well hole, mouse hole, drawer works, winch, iron roughneck, top drive, traveling block, V-door, remote control panel or for accumulator, tongs, slips and many more. These are the, the images for uh, all the equipments. This is a driller's cabin. This is called the rotary table. This is the, this is the well hole. And this is draw works. This is a window. This is the opening in the rig floor. And make sure that all the time, except um, any pipes or casings and tools are bringing uh, up to the rig floor from the catwalk or lowering from the rig floor to the catwalk, this window will be open and the rest of the other times this window will be closed. This is a dog house. This is manual slips, the manual tongs, this is safety clamps, this is power slips, this is rotary bushing, this is flex handles. And now we are looking here a very important thing that is the rig floor inspection observations and safety points. Now the first is the handrails and tow boards completely around the rig floor. As I said earlier, window guarded were not in use. The stair, stairs and steps non-skid properly secured with standard railings. Rotary floor and racking area in good condition. Non-skid material used around the rotary so that it could save from the slip. Floors free of grease and tripping hazards ensure good housekeeping. Smoking and open flame prohibited. Fire extinguishers are available in rig floor and pressurized. Moving machinery, drive belts, chains, fans, gears, shafts properly guarded. Lighting adequate guarded explosion proof. Wiring and outlets in good condition. Hand tools in good condition and properly stored. Subs and bits properly stored. Mud box in good condition and properly rigged. Some more points here, uh, which are very important uh, whenever we work and we go for, to the rig floor. What the points we have to observe there. Two means of egress from the dark house. Common drinking cups not pro allowed in the rig floor. Are all the floors openings covered and all floor plates installed properly? Are drawer works disc brake functions properly and checked for gaps? Is drawer works drum guard in place? Are the clamps, bolts, and nuts tight? Is drilling line visually checked for any damage? Is the weight indicator working properly? Are all instruments, gauges on drillers console working correctly? Emergency stop button for engine and generator located in trailer's console tested for proper function. Are all the winches in satisfactory working order? Are all winch lying in good condition, free of obstruction? Does the chronomatic and floromatic working properly? Are tongs supported on a minimum of 5 by 8 inch soft wire? Do all tongs have safety lines? Fixed H2S and LEL detector available? Are all unused floor holes covered? Tong ties installed and secured? properly and in good condition. Chronomatic device daily check prior starting the shift. Electrical equipment and wiring provided as per hazardous area classification. Four parts shackle used for all permanent fixtures. Monkey boards, fingers with safety chains for the individual rows, tubular stands properly placed on the derrick board. Man riding winch marks with safe workload and emergency stop. All high pressure hoses properly snapped on the both ends. Empty sleeve floor mats surface available and in good condition at setback and around rotary table area. 
safety and man riding harnesses are in good condition. Derrick man escape device inspected periodically and ensured it is installed properly. All pad eyes tested and color coded. Derrick ladder in good condition. All handling tools on monkey board are secured. Some more points here. The very important stand pipe anchored. Proper Derrick lighting. Derrick lights and speaker secured properly. Here we have to take care that all the speakers and lightings which are located in the dairy that should be given and provided the secondary retention um, provision so that it cannot fall down when the first uh, uh, securing element gets failed. It cannot fall on the rig floor on any person, on any, any working crew, for um, example, the floor man and driller, anybody. No loose items in the dairy. That's why we, whenever we are making any kind of maintenance or inspection work on a dairy, on a monkey board or cron, cron, cron block, we have to use a threaded tool. So the next point is handrails and tow boards completely around the rig floor. First, it keeps a stretcher and eye wash bottles in dog house readily accessible. Bulletin boards, safety signs, required notices, BOP procedures, maximum allowable casing pressure, it is the correct information posted. Communications appropriate for location uh, via telephone or radios. Safe work load marks on all air hoist. View from driller's console is clear. The driller can see uh, from um, outside his um, cabin all, all around the rig floor so that he can operate um, all the gauges and instruments are correctly. Make sure eye wash is station available and operational and shedded. We have to take care of that and we have to ensure that one eye wash station should be located on a rig floor and that should be shedded. Information whiteboard in doghouse, man riding winches are certified and safe workload clearly marked. Man riding winches all safety system in place and functional. Controls are clearly marked on man rider. View from man riding winch is clear and unobstructed. Whenever the person, an experienced and veteran person is operating the man riding winch, um, he, he can see the, the, the all uh, the places where the man, the, the man riding winch is going up and down so that he can operate uh, very safely. Is the loudspeaker system installed that can be heard throughout all the working area? The next points are, are there two unobstructed exits from the rig floor? As I said earlier in my first slide that we have to ensure that our rig, there should be at least two, at least two as per the in standard, uh, at, uh, as at least two uh, uh, staircases in tree for uh, in tree and egress from the rig floor. Is all wire rope protected from rubbing against any derrick structural members? Is the mouse hole kept covered when not in use? Is excess mud oil grease removed from the floor as soon as possible during normal operating procedure? Are employees provided with and wearing required PPE? Are all stairways leading to rig floor in good condition and properly secured? Are BOP remote controls labeled and free from, free from any sorts of obstruction? Are bug blows properly guarded? Ensure safety signs posted and visible. Is the safety latch on elevators in good condition? Good working condition? Make sure the cascade manifold is available and good working condition in the rig floor. Uh, there are um, um, two cascades uh, manifolds in the rig floor. One is uh, located uh, from the driller in the driller side and one is located off the driller side and uh, one manifold has has uh, four connections four lines be careful from the following rig floor hazards slick surfaces means slippery pinch points uh, pinch points whenever we are using for example the the tongs and uh, we are jointing the pipes we are jointing the the casings so we have to save uh, our fingers from the pinching from between the two um, um, parts of any uh, element or, or any anything, for example, the pipe or tools, any uh, any uh, casings and so on. Dropped objects, 
sleep, trip and fall, chances of hit by bike, fatigue, fatigue due to the long working hours, so time by time we have to um, drink water and keep ourselves uh, uh, relaxed and fresh, heat stress and so on. So uh, all the, the listeners, this was a little effort to, to, to uh, learn something more about the rig floor. So this was uh, some important uh, information. We learned here uh, the definition of the rig floor, what is exactly the rig floor, and what equipments are located on a rig floor, and the images and a rough idea of all the equipments. And uh, the very important, the last but not the least, the very important uh, safety observation points, the hazards and the control measures. Uh, whenever we were making visits in our rig, on a, uh, in the rig floor, what the points we have to focus and what the things we have to advise and take care of uh, uh, our working crew um, involved in the rig crew. And then the rig floor example, the, rig, the floor man, also called the roughneck, the drillers and uh, other service companies also work sometimes in the rig floor. So we have to take all the safety points in our daily um, working activities. So thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day.